Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and it's time for another moving installment of What's in the Box? The unboxing series in which I open the things that you send me in as dramatic a fashion as humanly possible, or as one can muster while using sharp things and boxes, and also trying not to accidentally dox people. Today, I have three things. Three things came today. You guys are incredible. Thank you. Uh, and we're going to open them. We're going to save the biggest and heaviest one for last because based on the size and dimensions, it could actually be a severed head this time. And I'm really excited about that. So I want to save that for last just in case. Also, if it's not a severed head, I don't want that disappointment to reflect in the other packages that I open. So without further ado, here's my sharp thing. Here's my box. That doesn't have any personal information on it, does it? Doesn't look like it. This is addressed to me, Mindless Entertainment. I just really enjoy uh, receiving mail addressed to Mindless Entertainment. Um, possibly more than I enjoy receiving addressed to the God Like, look, receiving mail addressed to the God Empress is probably one of the greatest joys of my life. Uh, however, there's something that just makes me feel like a legitimate business about getting stuff addressed to, uh, to Mindless Entertainment. Like, I'm real. One day it's going to be a real corporate. A gift for me. Don't we all love gift bags. Gift bags are great. Let's see. Hi, Jesse. Not sure what kind of music you're into, but Liz Fair is pretty awesome. From Polly the Polar Bear. Polly the Polar Bear did let me know that this was on its way. This sounds like a Liz Fair CD. Let's see. All right. It's a bag. It's in a fun bag. So, bam! And of course it is. Liz Fair. Somebody's a miracle. Um, I know... I think one song by her, I'm trying to remember what it is. I'm fairly certain there's like one song of hers on um, on my uh, words, um, on my iPod, that's a thing. And I really liked it, but I never went back and looked into her, so thank you very much. I'm gonna toss this on like today, and uh, we'll get back to you on, on how I feel. This is really cool. This is actually super awesome. I was thinking about like, how do you, how does one discover new bands to listen to? Uh, apparently by having amazing people suggest awesome music for you. So thank you, Polly the Polar Bear. That's, that's really cool. That's like, it's super cool. I feel like, I feel like it's the 90s again and we're sharing mixtapes. No, really, that's, that's like, I don't know. Music sharing always has some, there's like some great camaraderie about music sharing. I like this thing here. Do you like this thing? And you give it to someone they like it. Like, oh my God, I like this thing too. Now let's talk about this thing that we both like together. Now we can hang out and just sit around and listen to the thing that we like. Cause that's, remember that? Remember when that was a thing? It was that, was that just me? No, it wasn't. It was definitely not just me. That was like a thing that you did with your friends growing up is you would just hang out and you just put on an album. Just like an old, I mean, if you were, you know, me, like a CD. I feel like CDs, by the way, I feel like this is a retro gift already. Oh my God, it's a CD. No one uses those anymore. Kids be looking at that, be like, what's in that little square? It's like a book, but smaller. Ugh, not that they know what books are anyway. But no, that was a thing. Your friends would just come hang out and you just pop on whatever CD you were listening to a lot lately, especially if you both liked it and you just rock out to it or just sit and sort of enjoy it together and drink something non-alcoholic because you were 15. I don't know. It was just it was good times. Uh, uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Just me. Let me know in the comments below if you did that. What was your favorite one to do with your friends? I, oh my god, you guys think I'm such a dork. When I was like 11 and Avril Lavigne came out, me and all my chick friends would just, you know, would just throw on Avril Lavigne and let go. And it was just, that was life. Um, so anyway, this box got damaged and I'm very annoyed about this. So bad people boxes. Um, but let's, this one is not ahead. It, it's about the right size, but it's far too light. So that's... That's, you know, a thing. Cut in this box. This one's addressed to God Empress, Mindless Entertainment. I get both. I get God Empress and Mindless Entertainment in this one. I guess it's the way to go. It's just like, send to Mindless Entertainment, care of the God Empress. Putting the sharp things away. All right. What is happening? Oh, my God! Yes! 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 Just! Yes, guys! It's a head! I got a head! Woo! Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's, it's, oh wait, it's not just any head. It is, it's a head. It is just any head. It's somebody, something. Um, from, oh no, from the hit TV show and laboratory of Dr. Evil comes the most diabolical collection of horror props and body parts the human mind can imagine. Specimens so realistic, your friends will have nightmares for weeks. Oh my god, it's a head! I got a head! 
Hooray! Someone sent me a severed head! I'm so excited! Look how fucked up this guy is! He doesn't have eyes! He's just all dead! Oh my god! I got a head! I got a head! I got a head. I got a head. I'm so happy. I'm really concerned that I end up with like a massive collection of severed heads by the time that the series is done. Also, my sister's staying with me right now. I'm totally putting this in her bed because I'm that kind of person. Right there you go. I got a head. See, now I feel like an ass for being like, let me do this out of order in case that one's a head. Uh, and now there was a head. Who did this head come from? Hold on. Let me see. Tells me how to return an item. Who would want to return their severed head? Uh, I don't know who sent me the head. Whoever sent me the head, thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, I know a couple people said things were on the way, so I might have a hunch of who the head is from, but thank you. Thank you. That was so exciting. <laughs> All right. Last, but certainly not least, maybe this is a real head. This one's really big and heavy, so it could be a real head. Also, it says fragile. I feel like decapitated human skulls are items that are fragile, so let's find out. Maybe there'll be another head. Can you imagine if I got two heads in the same day? That would just be, I mean, that would be, that would be like the day that I got two Han Solo blasters at the, in the same day, but like close to being better. Not quite, come on, let's be honest. Very few things in life are better than having two Han Solo replica blasters blasters English all at the same time but two heads everyone knows two heads are better than one that's a thing Woo! all right oh goodness oh my goodness gracious oh my dear lords okay it's a big box inside of a box so we're gonna have to it's gonna be more fun more fun box in a box this person has crossed out all the things in the box just it's one of those like just so you don't think that this is what's in the box uh, it's an X box box, but let's see what is in the, not fallout as evidenced by the fact that fallout has been scribbled out many, many times. Oh my goodness. All right. Big old heavy box. What are you doing with your life? All right. That box is over there and this box is getting opened. Ah! Ah. All right, this is, this is effort here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm once again knocking or my camera angle around like a nutter as I do. All right, almost there. What's in the box? All right. Oh my goodness. Well, what is in the box is actually an Xbox. That's incredible. Uh, us boss tree sisty. That's effing incredible. Uh, and ugh, this is people are always like, you need to start doing Twitch stuff and do the things. So I guess I have no excuse not to now. Um, also in here, aw, thanks killing the complete collection. Everyone's favorite Thanksgiving movies. Turkey's murdering people. Hooray. I like how the complete collection is is like two movies. Specifically, it's Thanks Killing and Thanks Killing 3. So that's an interesting complete collection. Oh, oh, there's two of them. I now have two Thanks Killing complete collections, which means that we should probably do an excellent giveaway at some point. Um, Xbox controllers, what? Someone was just like, I don't play Xbox anymore. Here you go. There's gotta be a note. Ah, uh, read me first. Like, it was kind of at the bottom of things. Anyway, may this offering please you, almighty God Empress. It does. Whoa, this is a note. You guys ready for this? I'll try to keep this to one page. My writing sucks balls, obviously. Hello, my name is Jacob and Gavo. Yay, yeah, what's up, Jacob and Gavo? Yeah, we've chatted. You sent me your pretty pictures of stuff. Um, he had these really cute dogs. I'm a big fan. We're trying to send this for the last three months. Thanks a lot, little Donnie. Uh, really needed paychecks, but really needed that dumbass wall. Oh, <laughs> uh, fun times. Uh, amen to that, but better late than never. There we go. And when I started this, one, two, nineteen, I was chipping away ice so I can drive, uh, with my pickaxe driveway. 
ice so I can drive away. I feel like I'm missing words in here, but that's okay. Chris 10 degrees, ah, out, plus foot of snow, gross. I was listening to B. Arthur song from the Star Wars Christmas special, nice. And it got me thinking of how fucked up the state of the fandom and that shit movie Jar Jar Johnson made. Got pissed, chop, 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 that's the ice I'm assuming. And I got uh, too tired, uh, I got tired halfway up. I was so tired I began uh, peeming down like Leia. I stopped in my place. Wait, Jesse is spunky. Has guns that can knock out a wampa. Has fucking fabulous hair. Don't take shit from anyone. But she beamed down as femme solo. That started my mind thinking of you hovering over me. Come on, kid. Even soy boy gender studies betas can chop ice faster in my head. You were mean in a tough love way. That sounds so realistic. I uh, don't know if I want to give you a big hug or drop to my knees and worship you if we met, but I know what you're, you're thinking. Oh, what did I do to be gifted these shit puppet movies? <laughs> I like to think I sent you a movie that's a gem shot by the great Peter Jackson way back in ye olde 1989. Back when movies had some fucking balls, at least in my opinion. Then there's Thanks Killing. Uh, one word, trash. Drinking game in there for sure. Cannot wait for that. Uh, so the puppets, we've got Meet the Fables. Um, I, I have never actually seen these, but I have heard many things about them, so thank you so much. And the freaking Xbox, because, like, bro, what? <laughs> um, there, there's, there's other note things in here, so let's see what if, oh, oh, you read these too. All right, part one. Well, this is my second try sending. This is 3.30 a.m. I tore my room apart for my Xbox, considering all the dumb shit I bought, this is about... Uh, 15th-ish. But you know what? If I'm not determined to get this off my reservation, if I see this on its way back, I'm going to send it again. All right. Uh, please, great God, Yahweh, Santa Claus, Jeebus, fucking space turtle, get this package to its destination. P.S. I'm not a religious person. It's all a fucking joke to me. P.P.S. Don't tell any of the deities I said that. Funny. I like this guy. He's funny. Um, so, sick. I'm the benefactor of someone being like, well... Why would I continue to rot my brain with these nonsense video games when I could give them to someone else who will do this very same thing? Let's see what we have to F's with. Ooh. Oh, we have a whole bunch of, whole, whole bunch of DVDs in here. Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Always been curious about the Assassin's Creed games. Sin City, fantastic film. Cheaper Creepers 2 is in here. 500 Nations. That sounds very interesting. Ah, Resident Evil Degeneration. Dawn of the Dead. Nice. More Jeepers Creepers. We've got Borderlands, another game I've never played. Ah, oh, Linkin Park, good times. Lakota Woman, interesting. Some stuff I don't know about. Uh, oh, 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 Mortal Kombat, the movie, not game. Uh, some other great things I haven't seen yet, like The Men Who Stare at Goats. Uh, AVP Requiem, oh man, there was, there was at least one choice line in that that I enjoyed. Some more games like Dante's Info, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We have a Halo. We have a Halo. We have a Halo Wars. One that I haven't played. Um, so that's cool because I love Halo more than life. Do more games for us to Halo Reach. Never got to play through all of Halo Reach. So, yes. Um, oh, and the first season of The Walking Dead, which I still have yet to watch. So, and the Glorious Masters. Incredible. Jacob and Gavo, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, whoever is responsible for this head... Oh my God, let's talk about this head. Holy butts, I have a head. This is so great. Han, what do you think about my head? He's like, just leave me alone, I'm a cat. I got a head, this is incredible. And um, and of course, I have I have Liz Fair to check out. I have, this is a great day, thank you. This day started out abjectly horribly, totally miserably. And you guys have really brought it around, so thank you. Like that's, just so you know, every single person who has put something in a box and sent it my way has significantly brightened my day. And on this particular day, it went from being absolute misery to I'm just smiling now, just happy. So thank you. Uh, if you guys want to want me to open stuff, uh, the mailing address is 14320 Ventura Boulevard, Suite 163. That's in Sherman Oaks, uh, California, 91423. You can get that information if you click right up here on Get Involved With Me. That video popping up there will give you that information as well as my Patreon, my t-shirts, social media links, all that good stuff. Um, so go ahead and give that a click when you get a chance and um, a press the like button. Comments, you guys are incredible. I love you all. I'm just, I'm, I'm really... I'm really touched by all of you and happy. Thank you.